Hello, hello. Good morning, Miss Tisha. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a little sick. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Do you have the flu? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. That's a very common thing right now. Everybody has the flu. Everybody has like this problem. Yes. But it is just the flu. It's just like the, the nose and the coughing. You don't have fever or anything? No tiene fiebre ni no, nada. No, no. Yes. So that's only good. that. Only the, the, the nose. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you feel better. And the problem is that you cannot take medicine or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Exacto, ese es el problema. Yeah, ahorita solo el, el del don del señor. <laughs> only Tylenol. Only Tylenol and only tea. And, and, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing that you can do. And, oh, and, tea, yes. and, and natural natural uh, infusions with lemon, ginger, things like those. Yes. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, Linda. Hello, Marlon, Carlita, Juan Antonio, Jennifer, Luis Eduardo. Hello, hello Leticia, Marta. Uh, hello, Mr. Jorge, Nelson. Welcome to the class, right? It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay, so today it's uh, Tuesday. On Thursday, remember we have our presentations. So I hope you'll be ready for that day. It is going to be the final event that we're going to have as, as a group, right? It is going to be part of, of the final evaluations. Most of you have already finished the platform, right? You have already finished working on it and for sure, that is going to be very helpful because you are going to reach the final destination of, of your first experience with the classes. ¿Cómo ha sido su primera experiencia de clases? A ver, ¿cómo se sienten? ¿Cómo, cómo han sentido estos días? ¿Cómo se han sentido en su, en, su, en su proceso? ¿Lo han disfrutado? ¿No lo han disfrutado? ¿Qué ha sido lo mejor? ¿Qué mejorarían? ¿Qué les gustaría? Que, que fuera como más distinto, no sé. ¿Qué piensan de este primer, de esa primera experiencia que han tenido? Eh, de esta primera experiencia muy bien, la verdad que se le entiende bastante eh, cuando habla, porque no habla así como... <risa> sino que bien se le escucha la pronunciación y... Y yo siento que tendría que mejorar el hablar, no tener miedo a hablar. Pero todo muy bien. Eso, eso les va a ir mejorando ya con el, con el paso de los, de los módulos, obviamente. Ya ustedes, lo primero que tienen que trabajar, y eso siempre se los digo a todos mis alumnos, es que no sientan pena ni, ni se sientan frustrados por ser inteligentes y por estarse retando a un nuevo idioma. Piensen que como ustedes hay que cientos, cientos, cientos de gente todavía pensando, sí, algún día voy a estudiar inglés. Y ustedes ya tomaron la decisión, ya dieron el paso, ya están en el camino. El dar el paso es la parte más difícil, porque uno está en la zona de confort así de, es que chivo, sí, lo voy a hacer algún día. Pero cuando algún día llega y usted de veras toma la decisión de hacerlo porque quiere un cambio en su vida, porque quiere cosas mejores, porque quiere un mejor futuro, quiere un mejor presente, ahí está la diferencia. Yo siempre les digo, lo más difícil es dar el paso y decir, sí. lo voy a empezar a hacer. Y la segunda parte más difícil es mantenerse en el camino. Sin decir, ay, es que muy inglés. No, no, ay, no. Muy teacher, la teacher, no. Y vamos a hallar excusas. Yo les digo a, a, a los chicos, a veces cuando me dicen, ay, mi hija, es que ya no quiero estudiar. ¿Por qué les digo? Yo? 
es que mucha carga. Pues sí, el estudiar es una responsabilidad, implica una carga más. Ajá, pero todo ahí, toda responsabilidad viene ahí con todo gran poder conlleva una gran responsabilidad, dice por ahí un amigo mío. <risa> Rojo con azul. Entonces, este, así es, y si ya están en el camino, por eso yo siempre les digo, ya inscribieron el siguiente módulo, ya están en el otro módulo, ya lo tienen, ya lo inscribieron, ya, ya están, para que no se detengan, para que no se detengan, ¿por qué? Porque si se detienen en el camino, allá en un año van a decir, ya hubiera terminado. Si no me hubiera salido aquel día, si no me hubiera salido en aquel momento, ya hubiera terminado. Pero el hubiera no existe. Así que no se detengan. Sigan avanzando, sigan aprendiendo y obviamente síganse desarrollando. Investiguen, investiguen por su cuenta. No se queden solo con lo poquito. Sean curiosos. Sean curiosos, investiguen. Si ven un tema, por ejemplo, ahorita que vemos el Present Continuous, vayan a investigar más información, más ejemplos, más, más cosas. ¿verdad? Eso les va a servir un montón. Yo así les digo, yo aprendí inglés por me que a mí me gusta investigar un montón y leer y hacer como, ¿y eso de dónde? ¿Y eso por qué? ¿Y eso cómo? Para ir sacando más información. Así hagan con los temas. Vean los temas de grammar que vienen en el otro módulo. Y ahí pueden irlos investigando ya para que ustedes, pues sí, vean, al, al principio del módulo vean los temas que van a ver y vayan a investigarlo. ¿Para qué? Para que les sirva y se desarrollen mucho okay. más. Así que, muy bien. Gracias, Carlita, por su opinión. ¿Alguien más que nos quiera comentar cómo se siente en, este, en esta primera experiencia? Sí, A mí me gusta que ha sido bien paciente y ha sabido explicar. <risa> Tal vez cuando ha tenido, hemos tenido dudas o algo así. Eh, algo así. Gracias, Nelson. Gracias. Igual yo, Tiche, agradecerle por la paciencia que nos ha tenido. Se ve que, que lo suyo sí es que le nace, ¿verdad? Enseñar. Y, y, o sea, no es como que solo por tener trabajo. Ay, qué lindo. No, no nos diga, teacher, que ya se está despidiendo. No, no, llorando todos aquí. No, no, porque a mí me gusta en realidad siempre conocer también el lado del estudiante. Porque depende del lado del estudiante, también uno mejora como maestro. A mí me gusta conocer qué le gusta, qué no le gusta, cómo van, cómo se sienten, para qué, para que la experiencia de aprendizaje sea siempre en pro del, 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 de sentirse correcto, de sentirse bien. Así que por eso nada, no, no creo que adiós, adiós, amigo, adiós. <risa> no. Entonces, bye, me gusta, me gusta eso. Gracias. Sí, he sido bien paciente. Me gusta. Aquí tengo un cincho, mentira. <risa> Es el que no ven, tengo un cincho guardado aquí. A ver, cuéntenme otra experiencia. ¿Cómo se sienten ustedes en la cuestión del idioma? ¿Cómo se sienten desde el primer día hasta ahorita? Eh, yo quisiera decir que eh, a mí me gusta mucho el inglés y me cuesta mucho también, pero es como que es la materia que siempre llevaba mejor nota. <risa> Y entonces yo sí quiero aprender así, hablar todo bien. Todo. Muy y bien. Y de hecho me, me gusta que di ese primer paso, como usted dice, porque a veces que sí dan ganas de no, ya no seguir, porque Ajá. no sé, como que uno se desanima cuando no entiende algo. Pero <ríe> el punto mío era de que yo ya no estaba estudiando y ya se me habían olvidado un montón de cosas. Y ahorita sí he logrado como que recalcar varias cosas que ya, o sea, como que ya lo había aprendido, pero se habían olvidado. Entonces, entonces me gusta eso y espero seguir aprendiendo más. Excelente. Ajá. Así como todo en la vida, el inglés también se vence. Como el atún y todo lo que tiene usted guardado ahí en la cena que cree que nunca se va a arruinar. El inglés también se vence. Yo siempre les digo que me dicen, sí, I, I studied English before. Ajá, before how long, I said. ¿Cuánto antes? En el 2006, teacher. What? It's, it's like, uh, a, a long time ago, right? El, 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 la brecha de aprendizaje del idioma tiene seis meses. 
si no se practica en seis meses, se empieza a olvidar. Y así es. Y usted va a decir, no, hombre, sí. Sí, teacher, si sí, yo he estudiado inglés toda mi vida. Ajá, ¿cuándo? En, en bachillerato. ¿Cuándo estuve en bachillerato? Hace 12 años. It's like, maybe you have to practice again. From, from the beginning. Así que, igual, así como dice Carlita, todo en la vida, si no se practica, si no se refuerza y todo, se olvida. Así que hay que seguir en el, en el track. A ver, uno más, antes de empezar con nuestro, nuestro topic of the day. Eh, buenas noches. Hola. En mi caso, como decía la compañera, quizás uno a veces por el mismo trabajo que tiene, porque imagino que todos trabajamos, tenemos diferentes pues, compromisos, y uno llega hasta ahora, bueno, en mi caso, a veces llego hasta ahora, estoy como un poquito así como con sueño, pero digo, tiene que hacer uno un poquito el esfuerzo, con el mismo cansancio del trabajo. Igual, como dice ella, a mí el inglés me gusta y sí recuerdo que va a buenas calificaciones, pero ahora cuando vengo acá, yo digo, Dios mío, ya se me olvidaron muchas cosas. <risa> pero, pues sí, porque yo digo, terminar la universidad, pues en mi carrera no, no, no recibí inglés, Ajá. pero yo ahora sí veo que el inglés lo veo como un reto, siempre ha sido como un reto, ¿verdad? Aprender, aprender, porque como dice usted, cuando uno ya tiene cierto tiempo de no practicar aquello, pues se le olvida. Exacto. Se vence, se vence porque uno ya no, ya no practica. Ya no lo usa. Y ahora, ah. ahora eh, yo les digo, antes era, ¿puede leer y escribir? Sí, sí puedo. Ahora es, ¿puede leer y escribir? Sí. ¿Usar computadora? Sí. ¿Usar Excel? Eh, más o menos. ¿Inglés? No. No nos llame. Nosotros le vamos a llamar. Y hasta ahí llegó. Hasta ahí llegó. Yo tengo muy buenas experiencias. Tengo un, tengo un amigo que tenía dos masters en no sé qué, y master aquí, master allá, pero no tenía conocimiento del inglés. Y en todas las, en todas las empresas le decían, me encanta su perfil, me encanta su currículum, me encanta todo, pero no, no puede inglés. Entonces ahí se le cerraban miles de oportunidades y me dijo, no, Nati, o sea, es, es, necesito hacerlo ya. Entonces, así es. Podemos tener todo, pero ahorita el inglés es como que, ah, sí, fíjese, ahí le vamos a llamar. No nos llame. Entonces, ustedes ya van en el camino. O sea, ya, ya no me pueden decir, no, I don't know English. I cannot speak English. No, no, no. Estoy aprendiendo. I am learning. I am on the process. I am learning English. Pero ahora la pregunta si les digo, can you speak English? No, teacher, I can't speak English because it's very difficult, you know. In some cases, I don't understand. There are some things that I have problems with. <laughs> you are speaking in English, right? So it is, I am learning. I am on the process. I am preparing myself. But now you cannot say, no, no puedo inglés. Because now you can. And you are, you are learning, right? A little bit, but you are learning. And you see, in 15 days, you have advanced a lot. Keep advancing. That is going the that is the most important part of everything. That you continue advancing. Well, my dear class, today we are going to work on present continuous forms. Yesterday we were talking about the different rules to create verbs in the present continuous. In which situations do we use present continuous? ¿En qué situaciones ocupamos el presente continuo? Es una acción que se está realizando al momento. Exactly like that. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Very good job. Right? It's an action that is taking place on the moment. Right? An action that is taking place on the exact moment. So, very good. Estrellita for you. And you use it with what? With the nouns, with the adjectives, or with the verbs? With what form of the language do you use the present continuous? The verb. With the verbs, right? You the use verb. it with the verbs. Now, as you use it with the verbs, we are going to make a little collection of verbs in uh, the present continuous, right? So we can say, for example, I have one here. Take a shower. What is another action that you do in your normal day? 
Tell me another action that you do in your everyday. Brush my teeth. You brush your teeth, right? You brush your teeth. What else? Go to the, the work. You go to work. You go to work. What else? You eat, for walk sure. You walk the dog, eat. right? What else do you do? Drink. Did you drink? drink. You, you drink, okay, you drink water, you read. You drink water, you read. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You drink water, you read. You you cook, right? You use the computer and you cook. What else? Drive a car. The cell phone. You drive a car, right? You use the cell phone. That's very good. You drive a car, you use the cell phone. I am going to keep writing here. Talk. You talk, right? You drive a car. Good. I am going to move this one to erase this part. Okay. I am going to make, I, I move it too much. Okay. I am going to make another one. You use the cell phone, right? You use the cell phone as well. What else do you do? Listen to music. You listen to music. You sleep. You, you sleep. Good. You use the phone, right? You use the cell phone. You use the cell phone. You sleep. What else? The cell phone. What else? Ah, you walk, right? You walk for sure. You walk. Hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué mal creaste? Bueno. <laughs> you walk, right? You, what? You watch TV, right? You take pictures. You watch TV. You take selfies, right? <laughs> you take you take selfies. You watch TV. You listen to music, right? You listen to speak. music. Sure. You speak. Uh huh. Speak with my family. Um, you stay. Okay, stay with your family, or you can say like share, share time, share time with family. And let's see. I am going to write two more examples. Play video games. Play video games. Very good. Yes, that's a must. Right, you play video games and you spend money. You spend money, right? Even when you don't want, but we have to, right? We spend money. We Work spend money. <laughs> in some cases you spend and in some cases you waste, right? That's that's uh, that's real, right? Spend is like gastar, and waste is malgastar. <laughs> Dinero, right? The problem is when you waste your money in bad food. Creo que esa es la peor manera de gastar el dinero. En comida mala. And you are like, ew. <laughs> and you have to eat it because you pay for it. It's like, ya la pagué hoy, me la como. <laughs> Even when you don't like it, right? You spend money and for sure, you, um, you, check, you check social media, right? You check social media. And that is a, a normal thing that many people do nowadays, right? If these situations that I, that I have here are happening at the moment, how will you say it? What will you change on this one for you to have a present continuous form? Taking a, Taking a shower. For the next one? Brushing, Brushing your teeth. Your teeth. Your the teeth next one? Going, going, to going to work. The to next work. one? Eating. 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 The next one? Walking. Walking, Walking the dog. The next one? Water. Drinking. Drinking. Drinking water. Drinking. Breathing. 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 Using. Using. Using, right? Using, Using the computer. Using. Cooking. Cooking. Very good. Driving. 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 Driving a car. 
Using the cell phone. Using the cell phone. Using the cell phone. Sleeping. 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 Walking. Walking. Sleeping. Walking. Right. Sleeping. Walking. Taking pictures. Taking pictures. Watching TV. Watching, Watching TV. TV. Listening. Listening to music. Speaking. 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 Sharing time. Sharing time, Sharing time. Sharing time Sharing. with family. Playing, playing, playing video games. Playing video games. Playing. Spending money. Spending. Spending money and checking social media. Checking, social, checking social, media. Media. social media, right? Checking social media. And for sure, the most important social. of all of them, study. And for sure, you are studying, like what you are doing right now. You are studying. Good. So based on this one, we can take the examples of what we were creating yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about the different aspects of uh, the present continuous. And for these ones, we have three specific categories. For the three specific categories that we have on present continuous, we have affirmative forms, right? The affirmative forms are the ones that you only use. The form of the verb to be in uh, for you to create the sentence. And we can say, I am, and you add the verb in the present continuous. What are you doing right now? I am studying English. English. I am studying English. I am paying attention, right? You are paying attention. I am taking notes, right? That is what you are doing right now, right? I, and you can say, she is listening to the teacher, right? En negativo se lo agregaría el not. Exactly like that, right? Here we have the affirmative sentences. Let's make one example with R. We are... We are learning, right? We are learning. And that is the form. Here you have, remember that for I, you use am, for she, he, it, you use is, and for we, you and they, you use are. This is the form of the affirmative sentences. But what about the negatives, right? If you want to make it negative, it is a quite simple thing. So you say a negative. So you say, not teacher, I am not studying English. Oh, I am not paying attention. I am not taking notes. She is not listening to the teacher. We are not, not learning. learning. Oh, that would be the negative form. But what about questions? If you want to make a question out of this, we are going to use the affirmative forms again, and we are going to make the change. This is for the questions. How do you create the questions? This is quite simple. To make the questions, you are going to take the verb to be to the beginning of the sentence and you say, am I studying English? And you add the question mark, right? How will you transform the second one? Am I paying attention? Am I paying attention? It is not very common that you ask yourself, right? No es muy común que nos preguntamos a nosotros mismos. En español, sí. Desconecté la plancha. Me bañé. Ya comí. Right? It's very common that you ask questions to yourself. But in English, it's not like, am I studying English? Maybe if you lost your memory, yes. Si perdí la memoria, es posible. Right? It's, it's very possible. But if not, it is not really common. But you can ask a question to a second person. Are you taking notes? Take notes. Are you taking yeah. notes? Is if she you are, listening to the teacher? Is she listening to the teacher? Right? Oh, sorry. Here we have. Is she listening to the teacher? No, she is not. Right? In the next one, are, are we, we learning? Are we learning? Are we learning? And this is when I was explaining you the rising intonation, right? Todas las preguntas que comienzan con el verbo to be, am, is, are, van con rising intonation. 
entonación hacia arriba. ¿Por qué? Porque esperamos una respuesta de sí o no. You say, am I studying English? Am I paying attention? Are you taking notes? Is La she listening sería, to the teacher? Yes. En el caso de are we learning, sería yes, we are learning. We are learning, right? Yes, we are right. learning. Or yes, we are, right? You can use it in the two forms. But now, in this case, when we make questions, when we make questions, we can also use the questions with the verb to be. And in this one, you are going to use, you are going to use WH forms. And you can have questions, you can have answers for the following question. What are you doing? What are you doing? Or you can say, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? Or what are you doing right now? And in here, we can have a bunch of answers for the present continuous. Ah, right now, you say. Right now, I am cooking. I am sleeping. I am working, right? I am working. Uh, she is uh, singing. Etc. 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 What are you doing right now? Right. And here you answer with a present continuous form. What are you doing right now? I am going to make one question here. If you imagine that, imagine that right now you are not in class. Okay. Imagínense que ahorita no estamos en clases. ¿Qué estuvieran haciendo ahorita? You say, sleeping. imagine that you are not in classes. And I say, hey, what are you doing? Uh -huh. I am watching TV. I am watching TV. I am, I am okay. I am watching TV. I am playing video games. I am watching a movie. ¿Qué otra cosa me contestarían si no estuvieran en clases? I am reading. I am reading. I am Nelson. Using my computer. I am using the computer. Uh huh. Right now, if I wouldn't be in class, I would be I watching. Uh huh. Social network. Social networks, right? <laughs> Checking social networks. What else, Marta Jacqueline? What would you be doing? ¿Qué estuviera um, haciendo? Watching YouTube videos. Watching YouTube. <laughs> Carla Lisette. Maybe watching TikTok. Watching TikTok. <laughs> Luis Eduardo, what will you be doing? I am watching series. Watching series, right? Watching series. Maria Elena. Ay, no sé cómo se dice durmiendo. Sleeping. So you say, I am sleeping. I am sleeping. <laughs> that, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> no, I think right now I will be playing playing with my kids. Yeah. Ya yeah, una vez que hay un hijo en la vida ya no del dormir. Ya, yeah, ya yeah, no. <laughs> Mom, are you here? <laughs> so terrible. Let's see, Mr. Rodrigo, what would you be doing if you weren't in class? I'm watching TV. Watching TV. Ah, in class. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Jennifer Tatiana, what would you be doing? I am watching TV. <laughs> watching TV, right? Watching so, TV. Watching TV. That would be the most common question, right? And now that it's raining, it's nice, it's cool, it's beautiful to be on, on the bed watching TV. Right? That would be very nice. That would be a very nice thing. Okay? Or you can be, I don't know, playing video games or play, playing Candy Crush or something similar. <laughs> Okay, so that is the example of the different things, right? What are you doing? I have here some other uh, verbs about situations that can happen in life. For example, jumping, right? Jumping, sitting, right? When you stand up and you sit down, sitting, singing, singing, -na 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 -na. dancing. What is the next one? 
cooking. The next one. Writing. 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 The next one. Running. Running. The next one. Sleeping. 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 Playing. 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 Picking. 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 Going, hugging, ordering, ordering, grabbing, grabbing, watching, reading, watching, watching, yawning, yawning. ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Very good question. What is the meaning of Joan? Uh -huh. And it is a very um, a sticky thing when you're like, ah, that's to be joning, right? Ah, when you open your mouth, right? It's the most contagious thing on earth. Eso es lo más contagioso que hay. Joning. Hitting. Hitting. Touching. Calling. Touching. Calling. Driving, calling, driving, eating, checking, checking, checking turning, turning on, on um, studying, studying, listening, 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 listening cleaning, 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 reviewing, 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 repeating, pushing, pushing, pulling, opening, trying, pulling. Oh, and opening. Opening. opening, opening, open English, <laughs> opening. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. <laughs> yes. Eh, pero se lo en español. <laughs> la la mayoría de eh, a la hora de pronunciar la mayoría se hace eh, como el acento por decir algo. El acento se hace en la primera. Eh, por ejemplo, en el caso de going. Going. No sé, eh, no it's not going, uh -huh. oh, it's going, uh -huh. hugging, ordering. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, o sea, the, yes, the strength of voice is not in ING. La fuerza de voz no va en el ING. Because you don't say driving, eating. Y habrá algún verbo que sí se haga eso. Que sea una in these cases, I have never listened to one. No, casi ninguno lleva la fuerza de voz en ING. Casi no, en realidad, yo creo que ninguno. You cannot say turning, studying, listening. No, okay. creo que Thank you, en este caso ninguno. Say pushing, no? Pushing, it's the P, right? Brushing, dying, pulling, opening, yes. The strength is at the beginning, yeah. the first syllable, yes? Es de, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, go ahead. I have este, yo había escuchado como que cuando está la W es como que se hace un, se pronuncia diferente, pero no, o sea, como que desaparece la W, pero es como, no, no sé si me puede ilustrar. Depending, depending on the, on the word, o sea, que ahí va a depender mucho de la palabra, porque por ejemplo en swimming, Siempre tenemos el swimming, ahí sí como que medio la mencionada, pero no decís swimming. ¿Ah? En el caso de, es de, de esta, decís swimming. ¿Okay? Pero no sé, like yawning, yawning, is mentioned, right? And washing, watching, ahí sí, sí se menciona. Quizás, eh, no sé si tenés algún ejemplo de alguna palabra que te han dicho que no se menciona la W, y ahí la podemos estudiar. O te puede investigar algún mayor. caso. Ajá. Te ah, puede investigar sí. casos y lo vemos en Está la clase bien. de mañana. Ok. Está bien, gracias. Good. I am going to do it there. Ok. So, based on this one, I need you to create one sentence using any of the verbs. But I need a complex sentence, right? I don't need a very simple sentence like, I am hugging. No. You can say, I am hugging my sister, for example, because she's very beautiful. I am checking social media because I am bored. I am brushing my teeth because I like it. Okay, I need you to have a complete sentence about a verb and an action that is going on right now. Okay, <laughs> I am going to create one example. I am going to make one example here. I am going to make it for you. And 
then you are going to create your example. I am, okay, Luis Eduardo, tell me. Solo recordarle que no ha pasado la lista. Yes, I am going to do it. Los iba a poner a trabajar primero. I am studying English because I like it a lot. Y ahí los tengo en mente y aquí la tengo abierta siempre. Lista y preparada. I am studying English because I like it a lot, right? Here you have. This is my example. I need you to create one example with any of this sentence, any of these uh, verbs that we have here, okay? And meanwhile, I am going to call the attendance and when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Mientras están trabajando en eso, les voy a pasar asistencia. Cuando escuchen su nombre me dicen here or present, okay? Let's start. I am going to do it for you. Okay. I am going to do it right here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Recuerden decir aquí o present. Okay. Jennifer Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Rivera, thank you. Present. Eh, Jose Alexander Hernández. Present. Josué Mejía Martínez. Ok. Eh, Juan Antonio Chávez. Present. Thank you. Juan Diego Mejía. Carla Lisset. Martínez Navarro. Present. Carla Nicole Rezo Quinteros. Thank you. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present. Catherine Judith Portillo Fuentes. Thank you, Catherine. Nick, este, el último apellido es Funes. Ah, Funes Fuentes. I'm very sorry. Let's continue. Catherine Paola Rodríguez. Catherine Paola Rodríguez. No. Eh, Katia Dalila Barrera. Let's continue with Leticia Aide. Present. Thank you. Linda Beatriz Lopez Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Let's continue here with Lucia Fernanda. Lucia Fernanda. Okay. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alfredo Cruz. Ok. María Elena Galdames. Present. Thank you. María Guadalupe Martínez. Present. Thank you very much. María Teresa Murillo. Present. Thank you. Mario Antonio Delgado. Marlon José Mendoza. Marlon José. Present. Thank you. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Thank you. Eh, Miguel Leonidas. No. Nelson Rodimiro. Present teacher. Noemi Abigail. Norma Guadalupe. Normita. Norma Guadalupe, Norma Guadalupe. Normita, no sé si me escucha. 
la veo, pero no la veo. <laughs> Present. Thank you, Norma. Present. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No la veía. Present. Present. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tan linda la Normita. Patricia Marisela. Me está fallando el internet. Ok, ok, but yes. you, you are there. Ya, ya la marqué, Normita, gracias. Rodrigo Antonio. Mr. Rodrigo Antonio. Se me fue. Ah, ahí está. <ríe> Hoy no se me fue a vagar. Rodrigo, very good. Eh, en Rosalba, that it's not here. Okay, thank you, my dear class, for the attendance. I am missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. It's exactly like that. Okay, good. Very good. So we are going to go over, we are going to go over the examples, right? We are going to go over the examples. Each of you is going to give me one example, starting with Mr. Luis. Go ahead. Your example. Um, I am eating meat because I like. Very good. I am eating meat because I like it. Linda, Beatriz, go ahead. I'm reading my book. I am reading my book. Very good. Carla Stephanie. I'm eating pupusa because it's my favorite food. I am eating pupusas because it's my favorite food. Very good. The next one, Marlon. I am playing. I am playing. I play for sleeping. For, okay, for sleeping. <laughs> That's cool. Carla Lisette, go ahead. I am cleaning my room because I lose my earring. I am cleaning my room because I lost my earring, right? Because I lost, lo perdí, I lost my earring. Marta Jacqueline. I am watching a documentary about our planet wildlife because I love animals. Very beautiful, Maria Teresa. Okay. I dancing bachata because I like. I am dancing bachata because I like it. Leticia. I am reading my book English because I like so, I like so much. I am reading my English book. I am reading my English book because I like it a lot because I like it. Juan Antonio. I'm watching a movie because I want to improve my vocabulary. Very good. I am watching a movie because I want to improve my vocabulary in English. Maria Elena. No lo logra hacer que no me da la pantalla, teacher. No, but you can say, you, you did one? I am sleeping, you told me. Oh. <laughs> I am sleeping. I am, I am sleeping. <laughs> I am sleeping. Nelson Rodimiro. Rodi, go ahead. Teacher, I am brushing my teeth before to sleep. I am brushing my teeth before sleeping. Before sleeping. Or before oh. going to sleep. Before going to sleep. Jorge Alberto. I am running. Running. I am running in the park because I like. I am running in the park because I like it. Jennifer Tatiana. Uh, I am Jumping, jumping because I like it. I am jumping because I like it. <laughs> That's cool. No. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Catherine. I am listening to the class because I like English. I am listening to the class because I like English. Norma Guadalupe, give me your sentence. I am cooking because I like. I am cooking because I like it. Rodrigo, give me your sentence. I'm eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Living example, right? Y ese es el ejemplo. Es que usted vive el, el ejemplo. Me llegué. <laughs> Rodrigo, very good. <laughs> Lucia Fernanda, give me your example. Lucia Fernanda, Lucia Fernanda. Lucy, 
Lucy. Lucia Fernanda, your example. No me oye la Lucy. Jose Alexander. Uh, I'm watching Flash because it's my favorite program. Very good. Excellent. So <clears throat> here we go. Very good examples. And I am going to continue with the content here. Thank you. Excellent sentences. The, tell me, Rodi. Teacher, tengo, tengo una pregunta. I have a question. Question eh, me. Cuando, los, cuando menciono los verbos después del de, eh, presente continuo, todos los verbos también van a ser en presente, eh, así en, en ING. Depending on the sentence, because it's just like, um, uh -huh. like I am going to, I am brushing my teeth because I am going to sleep. Because that's the action. That's the action of uh, ir a la cama, ir a dormir. Entonces esa acción tiene esas dos formas. Before sleeping or before going to sleep. Esas dos formas de ir a la cama son la excepción. Entonces quizás por eso. Pero es like, I am cooking uh, because I like it, because I love it, because I'm hungry. En ese caso no. Okay. En eso porque es la, la acción que estamos utilizando de ir a la cama. Y esa tiene las dos formas. Going to bed and sleeping. This is se usa de las dos maneras. Jose Alexander, tell me. Uh, sí, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Para decir eh, serio es seriously. No, seriously is serious. like seriamente. Serious. Ah. Ajá, es que tengo la duda porque eh, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación al decir serie y al decir serie? O sea, ah. serie de referirse a serie de televisión y Serio, serious. al referirse a una persona seria. ¿Cómo sería okay. para, en ese caso? That's a very good question. You say serious, serious, with ES, serious, porque ahí siempre está como el, 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 el grupo de series. I am watching serious, and he is serious. Okay, he is gracias. serious, right? He's serious. And seriously, it's seriamente. We need to ah. talk seriously. It's like, ooh. Mm. Entonces, al decir seriously, decir seriamente. Yes. Okay, gracias. It's like gracias. serious, serious with U.S., serious, and serious. Serious, it's with uh, serious, right? That's the difference. Thank you very much. Hey, I like when you ask questions. So, here I have the examples that we were working on, right? Los, los ejemplos que ya mencionábamos. I have some uh, examples of affirmative, negative, and interrogative. She is cooking. Julio is watching the class. The cat is sleeping. My mother is working. My mother and his, my brother and his friend are running. I am exercising. He is running. I am reading. You are driving. She is not cooking. He is not running. I am not reading. You are not driving. Is she cooking? Is he running? Am I reading? Are you playing? Are you driving? Right? What are you doing? I am studying English. And these are the examples that we did. Tell me, what are the people on the picture doing? He or she, remember to use it. What are the people on the picture doing? He is playing tennis. He, he is playing is tennis. He is a bike. He is he running is, in the park. He is he driving is a bike. He is Reading a bike. Si me dice que está reading a bike, es que la, la bicicleta tiene un montón de letritas. Y la está leyendo. He is riding. Riding a bike, right? He is reading a bike. Riding. Reading it, right? Riding. He is riding a bike. Okay. The next one? She is. Oh, Run. he. Uh, She's she running. running. She's running. Good. She's, She's running. She's running. The next one? He is swimming. He is swimming. She is taking a walk. She is taking a walk. She is taking a walk. Very good. They are dancing. 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 She is? She is driving. She's driving. The next one? 
going to the movies. They are going to the movies. The next one. They are going to the shopping. Shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's reading. He's shopping. He's reading. She is reading. She is studying in. She is watching. He is watching. He is watching. Okay. Watch. 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 Okay. Because if you say watching, he is watching TV. Que la está lavando, right? He is watch. Watching. Watch. Watching. Television. Watch. The ver. Watch. Y la otra es wash. 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 Wash is like when you wash your hands, right? Wash. Hasta que llegó el COVID aprendimos a lavarnos las manos. Before we didn't know, right? Lo hice mal toda la vida. So he is watching TV. Now, I am going to ask you a couple of questions. Let's see. Mr. Juan Antonio. Is he cooking? And you are going to say, no, he is not. He is uh -huh. riding a bike. Okay, <clears throat> aquí no ha pasado nada. Tres, dos, uno. Juan Antonio, is he cooking? No, he's not. He is riding a bike. Now, Juan Antonio, ask the next question to another person. Pregúntale la siguiente a alguien más, pero obviamente incorrecta. About this one. Is he jogging in the park? Ajá, uh -huh, but to whom? ¿A quién le vas a preguntar? A Marlon. <laughs> a Marlon. Marlon está ahí bien atento. Say, Marlon. Pregúntale eh, la siguiente, incorrecta, obviamente, vea, no le vas a decir Ronnie. Ah, yo te hago la pregunta. No, Juan, Juan te va a hacer la pregunta a ti. Así como yo le hice esta a él. Is he jogging in the park? Is he jogging in the park? Can you say? ¿Cuál es? Perdón, porque... ah. This one. She's running. She's running. Running. Running? No. Running. She's running. Marlon, ask the next one to Catherine. Incorrect, obviamente. Catherine. Is. Is he? Is he cooking, Catherine? No, he's not. Uh -huh. He is? He's not. Yeah, correct. He is? He is uh, He is swimming. He is swimming, right? He is swimming. The next one. Leticia, is she dancing? No, she's not. She's taking a walk. She's taking a walk. Perfect. Let's see, Marta Jacqueline, are they checking their phones? No, they are dancing. No, they are dancing, very good. Luis Eduardo, is she riding a motorcycle? No, she's not. He, she is driving. She is driving. Carla Lisette, are they going to the restaurant? No, they are not. They are going to the movies. They are going to the movies. Maria Teresa, is he singing? The microphone, sweetie. Not, 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 show, not. Perdón, pero no okay. logro ver. Ok, here you have. No logro ver. Eh, él está shopping, vea, pero le digo. Shopping. Is he singing? No, he is not. He is not. He is okay. shopping. Jennifer Tatiana, 
Is she sleeping? She's not. Uh, he's reading. She mm -hmm. is reading, right? She is reading. Let's see. Is Mr. She... Rodrigo, is she watching TV? Yes, teacher. I'm watching TV. <laughs> no, the lady of the picture. <laughs> La sinceridad me encanta. This lady here. You remember? Uh, the cameras are important because you need to be focused in class, not in the TV. Hay después ven tele. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Is she watching TV? Uh, she's not watching TV. She is studying. She is studying. She is studying, right? She is studying. In class, tell me, everybody, is he, is he, Riding a horse? No, no he's no, not. No, he's not. No, he he's is watching, watching television. television. He's watching television, right? Very good. Excellent. So if I tell you right now, students, are you cooking? And say, no, teacher, I am not cooking. I am taking the class, right? Carla Stephanie, are you driving a car? No, I am not. I am in the class. I am in the class, right? So it's like, no, I am not driving, teacher. I am taking the class, right? And here I have some other examples for you to create your sentences. I need you to write the sentences on your notebook. Go ahead. You have the numbers and you have to create eight sentences. Go ahead. I did the first one for you. She's sleeping. And if you are curious enough, you will find the answer soon. Son curiosos se van a dar cuenta. Here you have the verbs. Go ahead, writing, writing, writing. I finished. You finish. Very good. We are going to check in a moment. Poor Rodimiro, he was without light. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, if you finish already, if you finish, most of you, okay, we're going to get the answers, right? And for the ones who haven't finished, you can continue. What is the answer for number two? She is swimming. She, she is swimming. swimming. Number three? She is swimming. They are, they are, they playing. are playing. They are playing tennis. They are playing tennis. What about the next one? She is swimming. 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 She is swim
They are shopping. They are shopping. They are shopping. They are shopping. The next one. Uh, he's, 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 he's watching, watching television. television. He's watching television. Yes, Jose Alexander. Podría ser shopping o buying. They are ¿Cómo sería? ¿En qué okay. caso se utilizaría? ¿Cuál, cuál sentencia? Ok, they are shopping, they are buying, it's, it's the same, right? In, in the same form, right? Buying, it's more commonly used when you have the object and you have the money already, right? Ahí es, ya estás buying it. Por cuando ya tienes el objeto y el dinero ya de un solo. Eso es como el más común de buying. Shopping es como cuando andas todavía ahí looking around, getting the things. So that is shopping. Okay. Y la otra, y la otra que en este caso sería pay o paying. Ese no tiene relación también, ¿verdad? Pay. Ajá. No, pay is when you are giving the money. Pay ya es una acción de dar ya el dinero. Ah, ok. So, yes, in that case it's a straight, it's a straight action. Number seven. He is driving. driving. He is driving. driving. Number eight. She's reading. She's reading. 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 Right. And number nine. They are dancing. They are, they they are, are dancing. dancing. Right. They are dancing. Very good, my dear class. So tomorrow we're going to have a lot of practice on the last part of this topic. We are also going to check that the platform is completed. Okay. Para mañana ya creo que todos pueden eh, tener ya las barras del progreso completadas para que las puedan mostrar en la clase. Eh, las vamos a ocupar, así que si tienen sus barras de progreso, tómenle captura y ya las pueden ir compartiendo en el grupo de WhatsApp, porque mañana les vamos a hacer una revisión general de todo, ¿ok? Oh, yes, José <ríe> Alexander. Time flies when you're having fun. El tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. So, have a beautiful night, my dear students. I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Thank have you a great night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.